All right, guys, a quick video on uh, cartridge style oil filters. So I'm changing oil on this Jeep 3.6 liter. And here we have the oil filter. There's the new one. There's the seal that I just replaced. Now this seal is what creates the seal. Not when this thing bottoms out, but however, when this thing passes the edge here, when it passes that edge, that's when the seal starts. So when people tighten these things up and actually bear down on them, they're, all they're doing is distorting the housing. The seal has already been created. So if when you're putting these things on, actually, let me show you real quick. I'm going to put this one in. And then I start to screw it down. And you can feel the plastic to plastic touching. And now you can just start to feel the seal coming into contact. So now I'm just doing this one handed and you can feel that rubber seal going in and it's already made the seal right now. It's already created the seal. So I'm just going in by hand and look how I'm holding this ratchet. I can't put much torque into this. <clears throat> so there now it's stopped. I could still go tighter if I wanted to, but it stopped. I'm not going to go any tighter. Actually, I could probably, yeah, just like that. See, it won't go any tighter. The point is, don't over tighten these things. You over tighten them, they warp, and that housing that down there, that's the uh, oil cooler housing as well as the filter housing. They will distort, they will crack. Um, you'll get coolant in the oil, oil in the coolant. Um, You'll just get an oil leak, a coolant leak, you name it. It'll create a mess. Don't over-tighten them. That's it. If you're getting anything out of my videos, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.